Because the way I looked at things, I was like saying, I'm the youngest. They know I don't have a permanent job. They know that I get peace jobs sometimes. They are older than me. And it's not like this guy really need that money for petrol. Then on the next Sunday, you know, I went to church as usual, as I usually go to church. Then the prophet called me. And this time it was a different story simply because of I didn't go there looking for a prophet so that I can get a prophecy. The prophet called me. And the first thing that he told me was that those three guys who says they're taking you to Val, do not go with them because they are not taking you to Val. But I'm not going to go deep in details and tell you where are they taking you. But I just want to let you know that do not go with them. Tell them that you postponed your trip. Because where they're taking you, you are not going to come back. Till this day, he didn't explain where they were taking me and what they were going to do with me. Now, he said to me, go to Val, go alone, don't be afraid. God will protect you, God will lead the way, God will be with you. Now, because of you don't know Val, I will recommend you to use a train because it's the easiest way and the cheapest way to get to Val. Take a train from Tembisa to Jimiston. When you arrive there, Jimiston, exchange the train and get another train that goes to Frenaching. And when you are in that train, do not get off to any station because it will take you straight to Frenaching. And Frenaching is the last station. Then he said to me, when you get to Frenaching train station, do not use the right hand exit because it will take you to town. It will take you to shops and you might get lost. Use the left hand exit simply because of it will take you to a tar road and use that road so that it can take you to a bridge. You will see the river on your left hand side. Keep walking on that road until you find a bridge. And when you get there, you will find people who are praying. That will be your starting point, and you will start it from there, and you will look for, or you will search for, a place where you saw the old man surfing. I followed everything he told me. I got there early. But when I got there, guys, you know, the story was different. I found different types of people who were praying under that bridge. It was a total different setup. And now that I'm older, I understand why people were behaving the way they behaved.